Greetings and greetings and greetings, everyone. Uh, welcome to the breakdown with DJ Odyssey, and I am DJ Odyssey, of course. Uh, today, I want to talk about five things that I do when I produce beats, but the small things, not, not like your heavy things, you know. And I'll get to those other ones. So for now, I just want us to to get into FL Studio and then check out the things that I do that help me produce beats every day. These are literally the things that I do every day, and then so I'm hoping that maybe they might help you out. And then as we move from these ones, we we'll move into other things. But for now, these are like the things that help me out to actually make some some beats, you know. So now the first one. I just want to show you like the copy and paste thing yeah sounds like a simple thing but uh, you have to know how to copy paste and actually duplicate so the first thing is how to duplicate you know so we'll just get into the playlist here and then I'll show you how to duplicate so how I normally duplicate is uh, you need to learn how to maybe like select these uh, I, I, I press on control and then uh, I, I walk through my mouse like that and then I have selected and then I can either go with control B and you see that's a duplication or I can also just drag just press on shift and then move drag with the mouse and then there you go and that's for me that's like duplication and that's the easiest thing you can have you need to learn how to do so you can either just control can control B or use uh, the shift and drag of the mouse and the copy and pasting I normally use copy and pasting when it comes to uh, to this part what it then when they call this part I mean the channel rack yeah that's what they call it so when you're on the channel rack uh, yeah man, it's written on the top when you're at the channel rack what you do is copy you can either press on this nexus here and then go copy and then copy the MIDI files into this one so now you have it and then or what you can do is once you are once you selected this part you can just um, press on control C and come to this and then say control V and then you have your MIDI and so it means you have the, you have dub, you have double whatever sound you wanted to do so you have it twice so that that for me that's those are the things one of the things that i do which helps me a lot when i make beats so that the copy and paste thing that's the first copy and paste thing and another thing that i do is cpu usage minimizing so when you want to save your cpu as you can see at the top like my cpu is already on 46 45 you know it's using a lot but it's not too much but i've used some some heavy plugins into this beat that i was making here so what's the secret so the first thing you need to learn is um as you can see you see these strings here uh are wave right these strings are wave uh it is not a sample i actually played the, the strings myself uh, these are the strings these are the media of the strings let's get into the media of the strings this is the media of the strings and then I use sample tank so with using sample tank the problem was it gets heavy on the CPU and then and I used uh, pro I used three strings on this I like one two three and a gospel whatever so I used three strings at the same time so they, they're kind of like heavy for for the CPU so what I had to do was make sure that um, what I do it's come here I click on strings and then uh, render and replace on the channel of the strings render and replace and then it renders and replaces so you say you say render and replace and then I do cut remainder because I've already had like the the strings on the playlist so I did not want it to so when I when I have to duplicate the rule you don't want it to have a like a remainder at the end and you will not be able to arrange it better so the best thing you have to do is uh, 
cut remainder and then it looks like this and then it stays on the song it replaces your your midi with an audio so basically if you want to delete your sample tank from from the from the song from the from the rack here from this excuse me from the channel rack you can actually delete it because you already have the sound that you wanted and then you can continue doing what you have to do and then um, another way to save your CPU is to come here to tools macros and then uh, switch smart disable for all plugins so it means for a plugin even if it's open on your on your on your channel rack uh, if it's not working it doesn't show your CPU so you you are safe like that and that's another way you can actually save your CPU and those are my two ways to save your CPU and then another thing is we get into the mixer right so my other tip my third tip is to get into the mixer so it's a mixer tip what I do when I'm on the mixer uh, so I'll show you something uh, let's say I'm on this kick right um, let's say those strings I want something that has maybe two plugins and okay it's just two EQs so but um first thing is maybe you have an EQ like this and you want this EQ to be on channel 40 as you can see channel 40 is empty right and then I was here, I was, I was here. So it is the same EQ. So you wanna take this EQ and so that it can be on channel 40. So when it's on channel 40, uh, you want it to be the same. So what you do is click on this arrow here. And you see when it says save preset as, you can just click on it and drag to channel 40. And then you have your your EQ on channel 40 so now let's say you want to duplicate exactly what's on string 1 do you want to duplicate in 241 so you click your right click on this thing and then you can see and go to file and then say where well, it says save mixer trackers so you can just duplicate you can just drag it and put it on 41 and then it will even write for you it will even write strings for you and then add the same thing is you know, the same preset for you for your EQs so it's another tip that I use most of the time and it will help you out when when you're making beats and then uh, let's go and now, now we get into the playlist uh, when I arrange now let's tip number four is when I arrange beats um, you will notice that every time I show you a tutorial, my bass line is always in the middle there. My melodic sounds are always here, packed up here, and my drums are always at the top. That's how I like to do my things. It's not how you're supposed to, but if you feel like you have to do this, do it like this. At least your, your thing will look even cleaner, you know? So, these are my drums. So you can see my drums my head everything that's drum related this is a riser and then they i put them at the top and then um from here i have a base of maybe if i have two bass lines i'll have another base sitting here and then i will just click on insert one and then I'll create space for another base so there's always a little middle line in between to show me that okay fine here is my bass and then here is my and here are my drums and here are my melodic sounds my strings everything they come here at the bottom so that i know that my drums it will not be too much i'll just make them like that and then even when i add the new drum i'll just put it up here and then create a space there and then everything works well and then what else um I think that's like uh, the thing about the arranging and then how I arrange my beats and then the fifth thing is naming you really need to know how to name your stuff so 
that's another thing that helps me so that I can be fast and quick. So as you can see, like drums, I've named everything, drums, hats, everything It's here. And then every pattern is not pattern one, pattern two, pattern three. You will not know what you're dealing with. So you need to make sure that uh, pattern one is drums and you write it as drums. So, so that you can name everything. So that's my other fifth tip. Like that, that, that's also important. You need to name your stuff. And once you name them, and then also your stuff should be named on on your channel, on your mixer channels, and then you're good. And we have five tips by yours truly how to how to make beats, not how to make beats. Like my five tips on the first studio how I make beats. Thank you very much for watching. My name is DJ Odyssey. The breakdown of DJ Odyssey. <laughs> Thank you.